In this video, we'll demonstrate the dissection of nervous system of cockroach. The materials required are dissection needle, brush, forceps, scissor, black chart, x-ray sheet which is cut into thin strips, bell pins, dissection tray, bowl with the water, spirit, a chloroformed cockroach or a freshly killed cockroach. With the above materials, now we start the dissection. Place a black chart at the center of the dissection tray and pin it tightly using bell pins at all the corners. Once again, make sure the chart is held tightly. Hold the cockroach in your left hand and clip off their antenna, legs, forewings and hind wings. These clippings must be done close to their bases so that the cockroach is well placed in the dissection area. After the clipping is carried out, place the cockroach on the black chart with its dorsal surface which is the back side of the cockroach where the wings were present facing upwards that means towards us. The next step is pinning the cockroach in the black chart at the anterior and posterior region of the cockroach. In the posterior region, the cockroach must be pinned at the end of the ninth abdominal segment. The pinning must be done tightly so that it gives ease in the dissection. In the anterior region, the cockroach must be pinned at the tip of the head where the mandibles are present. An important note, please make sure that your cockroach is not overstretched which will tear up the specimen. Pinning the cockroach to the black chart tightly, next step is to make an incision at the mid dorsal line of the cockroach. An important note, the incision should not be made too deeply which may damage the internal organs of the specimen.
Now expose the internal organs by pinning the cuticles to the sides of the cockroach. The main part in the nervous system dissection is the exposure of brain. We must gently make a slight cut on the head region to expose the brain. An important note, we must be very careful while making an incision around the head near clypeus and anterior epicranium to expose the two cerebral ganglion which is nothing but the brain of the cockroach. Another important note is to pour water to prevent drying of the dissected specimen. The nervous system is present behind the digestive system. To expose the nervous system, the digestive system must be removed completely. While removing the digestive system, make sure that you do not damage the nervous system and the brain present behind the digestive system. The digestive system must be removed starting from the esophagus along with salivary glands till rectum.
remove the fat tissues which is present in the cockroach these tissues must be removed gently otherwise it may damage the nerve cord or the nerve ganglion After removing fat bodies, spirit is added along the entire nervous system. The spirit is added to stiffen the nervous system. The next step in exposing the nervous system is inserting thin x-ray sheets in between two nerve ganglions. The x-ray sheets may be inserted alternatively or continuously. An important point is the nerve cord should not be damaged while inserting the x-ray sheets. A brief note on nervous system of the cockroach. The nervous system of the cockroach is divided into three parts. The central nervous system, peripheral nervous system, visceral or sympathetic nervous system. The central nervous system consists of supraesophageal ganglia which is the brain, subesophageal ganglia and circumesophageal connections in the head. The peripheral nervous system consists of nerve ring and the ventral nerve cord. Sympathetic nervous system consists of some ganglion and their connectors. There are totally 9 ganglions present in the cockroach. 
three ganglions is present in the thoracic region and six ganglion is present at the abdominal region in this dissection we are exposing every ganglion present in the thoracic and the abdominal region